Now, what happens if I wanted something to be happening in the background of my scene while this was happening? You can see in the back here that I have a random rabbit on a random round path, and it's just sitting there right now. It's not doing anything. But maybe I wanted it to be hopping around idly in the background while the rest of this scene was taking place. There are two different ways you can do it. The first is in the control category. There is a block, if you scroll down, called Run Parallel, and you can see that it has a couple of openings here. So if I drag that into my scene, it will run these two things parallel or alongside one another. So I can take this code that I have here that I just built from Jen getting up from the bench to the fox running away and put it into this first chunk here. And then underneath it, I can also say what I want to be happening at the same time. So in this case, I want the rabbit to be moving on the round path in, let's change that to eight seconds. It should be kind of slow. Now that's only gonna do it once. If I want that to happen continually, I need to find a loop. And for this, I'm going to use the forever loop because I want the rabbit to just be hopping around while this is happening. So I can drag in my loop, change my rabbit in there, and don't forget to give the rabbit an animation or it might look kind of funny. So I'm going to change the animation of my rabbit to eh, walk. Let's see how it walks. And then now these two things should happen simultaneously. So you can see in the back, the rabbit is moving while Jen is having this interaction with the fox. And now you have not only nested events in this code, but you also have concurrent events. So we have a couple different curriculum connections here. The other way to do this, if you didn't want to have this run parallel block, because it can get kind of unruly having all of this stuff on one coding window, is I can go ahead and take these blocks out and I'm going to just delete this other stuff. So I just have the gen story here. I can actually create a second coding window by clicking this plus button up here and I'll click co blocks again. And here I can place my other event. So again, I want to find this forever loop under the control category. I want my path block so I can have the rabbit moving on the round path. And then I want my animation block so that the rabbit is walking on the path continually. And now these two coding windows will happen simultaneously. So again, if we click play, we can see same thing. The rabbit is hopping around the back on the path and the story is happening with Jen and the fox in the foreground. There are always multiple ways to code things. It's up to you to decide what's the best way and the most efficient way to code your story.